Ты чё? Ну, 
Ну, если вам так все задорма, так платите мне деньги, будет тогда не задорма, что вы подробляете. Ну там это самое.
Welcome to today's episode of Piano TV. I want to take a look at the top five most underrated composers, according to me. It's an entirely biased list. And actually, this list was originally 14 composers long. And I kind of just like, I chopped it down to my personal favorites. I tried to include a diverse mix of uh, European classical musicians. So there's a Czech composer on here, there's a Spanish composer, an Italian composer a French composer, and a German composer. However, I didn't make a diverse list in terms of eras. So what you'll find is in this list, all of them are romantic or late romantic composers except for one. And again, that just kind of reflects my own personal bias, the kind of music that I enjoy listening to. But I also picked these composers because I feel like you genuinely, well, at least from what I see from your comments, you guys tend to like romantic music too. So I think you will genuinely enjoy these suggestions. At least that's my goal. So let's get started. Domenico Scarlatti is technically a Baroque composer. Uh, he was active in the early to mid 1700s, but his music was also leaning in the new classical direction, which would have been the mid 1700s to early 1800s. One of Scarlatti's biggest shortcomings is that he was born in the exact same year as two other really huge Baroque composers. So Handel and Bach were also born in 1685 
and they definitely overshadow him. Because even nowadays, everybody knows of Bach, and um, Handel is still fairly well known, even for people who aren't like super acquainted with classical music. But most people, unless you're a keyboardist, uh, don't know Scarlatti. Uh, he was really prolific. He wrote a whole bunch of serious operas, around 60 of them. He wrote liturgical pieces and other vocal works. But mainly what survives today of his works are his 555 keyboard sonatas. So if you've heard the name Scarlatti before, that in and of itself means that he's not entirely underrated, but what I think he is, is often overlooked. So for example, his most famous works, his 555 keyboard sonatas, are labeled sonatas, but they're actually nothing like classical sonatas by more famous composers like Mozart and Haydn and Beethoven. Because of this, I think there's like a genre classification issue. Um, people often, when they're looking for sonatas, will look at those really, really famous classical ones, and Scarlatti just kind of tend to get ignored because they don't really represent the genre. I also think that as far as Baroque music goes, people tend to stick to like the cheery, intermediate level Handel suites, and um, of course everyone learns Bach. And since those two composers more distinctly represent the Baroque era, whereas Scarlatti represents more of a transitional period between the Baroque and classical periods, he often gets overlooked because of that, because he's not such a like clear-cut, definitive Baroque guy. I really recommend you check out Horowitz's uh, Scarlatti Sonata. I think K87 is the one I have linked on the blog. Um, the, the clip I'm going to play for you isn't Horowitz, but it's still a very good recording of the same sonata, and you can get a sense of his emotional style in this. Is it really? Here I am. Next up is Fanny Mendelssohn Hansel, when she married, who was the sister of the much more famous Felix Mendelssohn. I talked about Fanny on the video where we discussed okay, some really know. awesome female composers, but I really wanted to bring her up again today because she, well, she was a German pianist and composer who lived in the first half of the 19th century. And I really do believe that had she been a man, she would have gone really, really far in life. I think one of the most impressive things about Fanny was her output. It's not like she was comp Hey, very, very. Very, very. Насыщенный, с такой легкой горчинкой. Сколько стоил? Ну, чуть дороже страховки моей квартиры. Ха, огонь. Защита квартиры по цене кофе. Быстрое оформление в Сбербанк онлайн. Томас, зачем ты встревожен? Расскажите, что произошло. То, что мне снится, не похоже на обычные сны. Полетаем. 